start our conversation like I start every speaking engagement. That's not how I start them. This is how I start them. I feel the three words coming. I'm excited. Yeah. So my name is Jamar Blackman, a.k.a. J. Black, a.k.a. The Goal Getter. And the goal today is to change your relationship with pain. See, pain is a part of life, but we all have a choice on how we interpret it. People often wonder, how are you just able to be so excited when you have a wife with multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune disease where her body subsequently attacks itself? 2017, I seen firsthand what it looks like when she has a flare-up. She loses her sight, feelings in her legs. It's built on stress. So it's mandatory. Her stress levels remain low. Not to mention being a father of not one, but two kids with autism who are nonverbal, 11 and 7. And a doctor said it's a good chance they will never speak, but they will speak one day. Amen. They will be success stories for autism. Okay. The best is yet to come, and success is the only option. Yes. Now, my conversation with you today will be derived from a statement and a question. I'm going to say it three times. And I want you to listen and think as I answer the question based off my life experiences. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? Seeing the sunrise is a beautiful thing. Looking at the stars at night is a beautiful thing. Gorgeous is so gorgeous. Oh, that's my nickname for my gorgeous wife. Every time I think of her, my heart smiles. My mother was forced to take a psychiatric evaluation for saying she was going to kill my father if I was born blind. A month before I was born, she was informed she had a sexually transmitted disease. Oprah Winfrey once said the most powerful contribution we have to the world is our story. So don't water it down for nobody. She put an exclamation mark at the story. I added, so don't water it down for nobody. See, every second of your life has shaped you. I love me some me. Ha. And I need you to love you some you. See, I have a different appreciation for sight due to how I entered the world. My view of fatherhood and decision making is different due to how I entered the world. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? 9 and 27, those numbers might not mean anything to you, but they inspire me. Those were the ages I seen my father. 90 was alive, 27 was at his funeral. For years I was angry with him due to me seeing fathers and sons at basketball games, football games, martial art competitions, choir competitions and plays, but becoming an author a few years ago, it forced me to deal with that anger and it shifted my perspective. See, today I'm married, got four kids, ton of goals, but being a great father is at the top of the list. Amen. See, pain, it can break you or elevate you. Goal getter, it's a mindset. A way of life. Success is the only option. We don't believe in failure. You either win or learn. You make the adjustments. When you say you want to win at life, you have to constantly make adjustments. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? Having the obligation to do something, having control over or care for someone as part of one's job or role, it's a definition of responsible. When I was 13, my mother said to me, when I went to work, I wish I could be white. But when I clocked out, I could turn back black. I never forgot the statement because of the pain in her eyes and the passion in her voice. She was dealing with racism, but had two kids that had to be responsible, so kept going to the same job for over 25 years. She was a goal-getter. See, a goal-getter? Grinds to greatness every day. 
aims to be the best version of themselves every day, understands that adversity is a part of the journey to success. So we embrace it. We never give up. Success is the only option. It's always going to be an obstacle in life. Her obstacle was racism. We can't act on emotion. Remaining calm leads to making better decisions. Yeah. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? Four-year letterman, point guard, captain of the basketball team. I'm going to Niagara Community College in New York. Switch. Well, that was the plan, but in life, everything doesn't go as planned. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm a motivational speaker, author, behavioral health specialist, nonprofit leader, entrepreneur, but the foundation of everything I'm doing leads back to me missing this college visit. Today, I would tell you that the driver getting angry and turning around because he got lost while I was asleep was the best thing that happened to me. The plan was actually to find a job to my next trial in January, but the ad I answered turned out to be Entrepreneur University, and my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. Within a month, I moved to a whole different state with this promotional marketing company, learned every aspect of entrepreneurship, and was trained in motivational speaking. Every time I step on stage, I think of 16-hour days. See, I had to outsell everyone to earn the right to run morning meetings for sales professionals. So when everybody was going home after a long day of going business to business selling wholesale products, I would grab an order and go night merchant and stay out until I was the top seller. And if you actually hit a quota and built a team, they would put you in your own office, on accounting, and provide you with 100,000 worth of merchandise on consignment at all times. Goals give direction. Now, I'm the first person to the office, constantly picking the owner's brain, reading books. See, when you have a goal, it's the person you are and the person you have to become to achieve the goal. Greatness resides outside of your comfort zone. It's okay to cry, to get frustrated, to get knocked down, but it's never okay to give up. I was in the Detroit hotel, frustrated, crying. My team just had quit, moved back to Pittsburgh. So I'm packing up my things like, you know, it's a wrap, moving back to Akron. A gold sheet falls on the floor. Now we wrote daily goals, and we always put our company name on the paper. So I picked the paper up, my company, Star Quality Promotions Incorporated, greatest ever. So I decided to stay. In two and a half months, I built a team of 15 people, developed six leaders, took the marketing office from 10,000 to 40,000 in sales a week, skipped assistant manager, and was promoted to ownership. 19-year-old business owner, Brooklyn, New York. If it's worth having, it won't come easy. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? My goal's obsession has led to many blessings. Lessons, your mind is your deadliest weapon. Until my last breath, you know what? I'll be yelling, I'll be stressing. Goals give direction. That's my ringtone. Hello, uncle, mommy dead. What? February 28th, 2023. Never forget that phone call. My mom happened to be right in front of me. Um, my little sister passed. 37 years young, three kids, 19, 18, and 16. I had to call my youngest nephew. He was locked up and tell him that his mom passed. You never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. So I had to ha handle all the funeral arrangements. I had contracts signed for speaking engagements, so even though shutting down was an option, it wasn't an option for me. She was supposed to meet me at the track that morning for a workout session at 5 a.m. The next day, I didn't change my routine. 5 a.m., I was at the track. Also didn't cancel my mentoring program. Two days after that, had the biggest speaking engagement of my career. And I couldn't let my emotions get the best of me. A Couple weeks after that, we had our team career day. Then we had a play that I had a main role in on her birthday. See, pain is just a part of life. And I've heard so many stories of people shutting down when they lose a loved one. Angel is now an angel on my shoulder. What I do not want you to be is a person that becomes a walking zombie. Live to be 80, but die at 25 because you stop dreaming, you stop living, you start going through the motions of life. 
Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? The goal for my presentation was to change your relationship with pain. So today, I need you to do three things. One, you are the author of your story. You can turn the page or start a new chapter anytime you want to. I need you to start writing daily goals. Two, I need you to start speaking life into yourself. I need you to say, I am great. I am a winner. I am unstoppable. I'm a goal getter. Success is the only option. Three, I need you to identify your why buttons. When you make things bigger than you, it helps you to stay motivated. I have a wife dependent on me, four kids dependent on me. I believe I was born to inspire, to empower, to develop people to become the best version of themselves. I believe I'm carrying on the legacy of our ancestors. Life is a classroom. The question is, are you paying attention? I've been paying attention. And if you've been paying attention, you are now a goal getter. With the right mindset, you can go to the top. So I love and believe in you. And always remember, always remember, always remember, only person that can stop you is you. Yes. Thank you.